It was last year in February, February of last year. That's when I, uh, I mean, I had been struggling with some symptoms. I wasn't sure what was going on. I would visit my doctor. Um, they would just say it was a virus. It would go on. I'll, I'll be okay. I had antibiotics or medication, but the symptoms just kept, kept on coming and they were worse and worse every time or every month I had a different um, symptom. Yes, um, and I developed meningitis within those eight months. Uh, they couldn't figure out what was going on with me. I also had um, knee surgery because they suspected I had a tumor in my femur bone, which was a very um, terrible experience. Yes, it was really bad. I had three children of my own to take care of at home. So it was, uh, my family was going through a very bad uh, emotional distress. Eight months here in Bakersfield. I was literally dying without a cure. I, I did not know what was going on. The pain was beyond the limit. I could not bear the pain I had in my legs, and my body, my neck. I mean, everything hurt, everything. I had a lot of symptoms going on. I, couldn't, I would go into the doctor and I couldn't even explain to her which one was the one that was really bothering me since I had all kinds of things going on. They finally diagnosed in, um, I believe it was in April 2011 after those eight, eight months of the pain and suffering, emotional. So, did this past April or eight? It was la like two months later. Well, wait, it was in February actually. February 2011, that's when they diagnosed me with valley fever or coxie meningitis. Mm -hmm. And since then, my journey has begun. Well, now I, uh, my life consists of a lot of rest. I get tired easily as I, have a really my fatigue level hasn't hasn't decreased at all and um, I take like a thousand milligrams of diflucan and I will for the rest of my life and uh, I have many uh, doctor's visits I have to call into work often because I can't get off of bed I'm too tired to go to work um, I also I had a hair loss, I lost weight, uh, my bones were very sensitive to anything in the sun, my skin, I, I developed um, psoriasis, yes, and headaches, I guess I will have to deal with them forever. No, I lost my job. When in that time, in those eight months, I used to work somewhere else, but since I was missing constantly, I was just, I just, they told me that that was it pretty much fired. And then, um, well, I've been in recuperating and I started working somewhere else. So I work as a teacher's aide in school in Arvin. And um, also there, I, I, I had to mention to them about, <clears throat> I had valley fever and I have a lot of doctor's appointments and they said it would, it would be okay as long as I give them an uh, ahead of time notice. So. I have three kids, my daughter is nine and I have a seven-year-old and a five-year-old. It was very hard for them in the beginning when they would see me in the wheelchair or my husband had to actually carry me from the bed to the couch or I just couldn't move from the couch. I would just stay there all day because the pain in my knees was really bad. I didn't have strength. I lost strength on my legs pretty much. Yes, I had a knee surgery on my left knee. Yes, it, it was unnecessary by the way because there was nothing going on there. It was valley fever all, all the time. Yeah. So, but they're doing good now. Now they're very happy. The first time they see me running again, I was so excited. You know those little simple things that you really don't, don't um, think matter of like wearing high heels. I'm so young, I'm only 25 years old and um, just walking fast or be able to bend my knees, bend down. I mean, all those little things are much appreciated whenever you're able to do it again. So I'm very thankful for that.